Hello to this new video. The Stable Diffusion 3.5 Medium model got released recently and I want to use this as a reason to show you the new model and to compare it with the SDXL 1.0 model. What I can say up front is they are both quite fast. The 3.5 Medium model is a little bit faster and I use both in Comfy UI and I did a little workflow which makes it easier to compare both. You can find this workflow on my Patreon with the base membership if you want to try it yourself and compare both models so that you can decide which one is best for you. The links to the model and to the Patreon page are both in the description below. So let's dive into the workflow. It's a quite simple workflow. We have a 2K sampler nodes here. We have a simple positive and negative prompt. The seat is on increment. The resolution for both workflows is uh, the same. It's 768 to 1. 1280. We have uh, steps and CFG values the same in both K sampler nodes, but we have a different scheduler for the SD 3.5 K sampler. The rest is the same so that we can compare both in a better way. For the SD 3.5, we load the medium checkpoint but we need the triple clip loader you need to download the clip g the clip l and the t5 xxl you can use the fp8 or the fp16 and this goes into our prompts and then into the case sampler it's quite the same workflow and the same values so we can compare it now i have some prompts here included in the workflow we can try out to see the difference the seat will be the same for both samplers and let's generate something so this first prompt is ah let's let's put the prompt here so we can better see the results and the prompt in one picture the first prompt is super friendly blue furry creature round long ears big nose huge eyes cute 8k let's generate So we can see the SD 3.5 gives us results in 7.21 seconds on a GTX 4090. The results for the SDXL comes in 6 seconds 48. In this case, the SD 3.5 was slower, but in the tests I did before, they were almost the same or the 3.5 was a little bit faster. So now we have 7.21 for the SDXL and 6.21. 8 to for the SD 3.5 so both are quite fast the results are interesting the SDXL is always a little brighter in the result that can be caused by the settings I use and the SD 3.5 medium results are more contrast rich more colorful let's do the next one it's called a lemon bird hyper realism surrealism quite simple one Quite nice results on both sides. Really different interpretation. I got the feeling that the SDXL and the SD 3.5 medium have a different way to interpret the prompts. SD 3.5 medium has better results for text. SDXL sometimes completely ignoring text uh, information in, inside the prompt and SD 3.5 medium does a better job in this case. Let's try another one for this prompt. I really love the results from SDXL, but I also like the SD 3.5 result. So let's do another one. It says Greek full length porcelain sculpture of a warrior, serene and elegant facial expression looking up, blue fine porcelain, porcelain, floral print on leather, heavenly and ethereal resplendent. Timothy Charlemagne, 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 I cannot pronounce it, exhibition of works of art. So let's give this a try. Anatomy is quite better here. We have, 
here's some problems in this area, but it's a much less manieristic face on the right side with the 3.5 and a totally different interpretation of the prompt. Do another one. Yes. Another one. I like both results, but yeah. So in this case, uh, 3.5 was faster again, only a few milliseconds. So they're quite comparable in regards of time. Let's do another prompt. In stable diffusion, this gives quite experimental results. It's called 3D cube woman under water, iridescent water dreamlike. So this is, I like it really much, I like the colors and the reflections, and this is quite powerful stuff, uh, but it looks like uh, Stable Diffusion is somehow confused how to interpret this information. Let's do another one. So you see, this is quite surrealistic results and it needs uh, some refinement and upscalement and in general i really like those both models let's go into a nature scene a surrealistic nature scene the prompt is called a pink hawk front view close-up eyes taken with ectachrome hdr let's give it a try the colors in this 3.5 result is quite high in the tests i did both models did errors with arms and legs and anatomy oh i like this one a lot this 3.5 result so both models make somehow the same mistakes as um, like you know from stable diffusion but it might be a little bit better in the 3.5 version comment below if you have different experience with both models what do you like more and what is your favorite in this case maybe the 3.5 is a little bit too saturated but it got more clear edges this looks a little bit too soft and a little bit off let's do two more a giant octopus was caught by japanese fishermen on their boat as shown in a video screenshot so this one uh, in my test was quite interesting. Let's give it a go. So in 3.5, the results looked quite strange. This is a good result, but we will do another version where you can see what I mean. It looks quite off and not real at all. Whereas in SDXL, I get the feeling this would be a real screenshot from a video. This could have happened like this in reality. This again, I like this very much, looks quite real. But this, you see, is really quite off and looks more like an illustration or something. In this case, SDXL really gives the better results. Let's do another one. Again, this is quite, yeah, there's some errors and stuff, but this looks a little bit hilarious and I don't know what's going on with SD 3.5 here. Okay, let's do the last prompt. It says, cute photos of invented magical creatures, large eyes. Uh-huh. Okay, for this prompt, um, SDXL often did some more or less black and white photography style images, whereas the SD 3.5 did some funky looking things with interesting light effects in the skin. I really like the 3.5 medium results, but I also like the SDXL results. Oh, this one is great as well. So that's it for now. Both models quite fast. In this case, the 3.5 medium was a little bit slower but most of the time it was a few milliseconds faster i will put this workflow on my patreon page for base members if you decide to support me as a base member there are many many more workflows you can download and i will upload more workflows every week or so with every new video usually there comes a new workflow so if you pay once you get lots of workflows you can download so 
consider supporting me. I'm doing this without earning from YouTube so far. And I do this beside my normal job. So if you want more videos like this, support me and like the video, comment below, this helps a lot. And I hope this video gave you a nice overview and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.